Also, by accident, uncovered a good film prospect yesterday. Got into conversation on the plane with a Mr. Uh, a Mr. Snodgrass, president of Snodgrass and Company. Gave him a pitch, mentioned the picture for Lightning Electric, and he's interested, said to call him in a couple of weeks. Snodgrass is a big outfit. Should be able to go 50 or 60 grand for a first class picture paragraph. I'll keep in touch and let you know. By the way, on the plane yesterday, I was talking to a man in the moving picture business. Commercial industrial films, you know. He was telling me how a lot of firms nowadays are using movies to promote new business and all. For instance, he mentioned one firm that's got a picture on a new electric pancake turner. Sounded kind of interesting. I don't know if it's for us, but it wouldn't hurt to check on this thing. Find out about costs and all. Uh, you mean about the uh, movie or the electric pan? Yeah, see what you can find out and let me know, will you, George? Yes? By the way, here's the guy's card. Uh-huh. Incidentally, I was talking to the old man the other day about a movie. Uh, you know, the sales promotion type thing. Seems some friend of his had one made about a new gadget, a electric pancake turner or some damn thing. We'd like to get a hold of it and take a look at it. What, the movie or the... The movie. Um, here's the guy's card. Check on it, let me know, will you, Marv? Oh, and one more thing, Eddie. George and I want to locate a sales movie on some new electrical thing that's out. It's, uh... Damn it, I thought I had that card here somewhere. Anyway, it's a electric waffle iron, or... Seems to me it had something to do with breakfast. Electric syrup pitcher. Man, that's a new one. Anyway, they made a movie on it. See if you can get the dope on it for me, uh, cost and all that. If you haven't got the card, Marv, uh, who do I call? I don't know. You're the purchasing agent. Check around. Well, I'll see what I can find out. Oh, and Eddie, don't take your usual six months on this. See if you can get it before Christmas, okay, just for once? Oh, I didn't understand for Christmas. Yeah, we will have to get on it. Uh, now, is this for our full list? A uh, list? Uh, do the best you can. Hello. I'll check and let you know. Yeah. Nobody ever heard of anything like an electric syrup pitcher. They've got electric appliances like coffee makers and frying pans. I know and... that. I could keep checking some more, but... No. We fool around, it'll be too late for Christmas. Just find out what's the best deal we can get on some electrical appliance if we take 500 of them. Let me know by tomorrow. Okay. I would have given it to Marv, but he's out of town. We haven't got time to wait or we'll miss Christmas entirely. I don't want him blaming me for stalling this thing. He told okay, me. Okay, but why would we want to send electric toasters to customers for Christmas? Because toasters is what we get the best price on of any electric appliance. $9.95. But ye gods, 500 of them? Our regular Christmas list, that's what Marv said. He must be losing his mind. Well, I wouldn't argue that, but I get the impression this isn't altogether his idea. It comes from way upstairs. Well, all right, but before I okay this, I'm gonna check it with Willard. I'll let you know. $4,975. That's almost $5,000. I know it. What's wrong with our usual Christmas cards? 500 electric toasters. What idiot thought that up? I don't know. All I know is they told me it came right from the top. From Harvey himself, huh? Well, on second thought, maybe it isn't such a bad idea at that. However, I think I'll double check with Harvey. Let me know. My requisition, mine, I never heard of this thing before. Well, I questioned it too, Harvey. But... What the hell have electric toasters got to do with our business? And at $10 each. $9.95, Harvey. Well, that's almost $10. True. Very true. I got news for everybody. 
We're not spending any $5,000 on any electric toasters for Christmas presents. Any loose money we got around here, we're not giving it away. From now on, let's start thinking about using our spare money to make more money. We get $5,000? Okay. Let's spend it on sales promotion. Drum up some new business. Let's make a movie or something to build volume. As for this... I felt like a fool. Whoever thought up this stupid toaster thing, it wasn't Harvey. Here, you can tear this thing up. Harvey says if we're gonna spend $5,000, he wants us to spend it on a movie or something. We can get some returns. Okay, now I'll tell Eddie. Please do. Oh, and by the way, Eddie, that, uh, that deal on the toasters, uh, the Christmas presents, you know. Well, the old man killed it. <laughs> Forget it. For your information, what they're gonna do is use that five grand to make an advertising movie. <laughs> Hey, I ran across this card, reminded me. You ever find out anything about that movie on those electric donut cutters or whatever the hell it was? Remember I asked you to... Uh, yeah, uh, well, we haven't located that exact movie itself yet, Marv. Uh, we can check some more, but after the Christmas present idea got shot down, I, I didn't know whether you wanted us to. What are you talking about? Didn't I tell you? They don't want to send out Christmas presents to customers this year. Eddie, I don't care anything about that. I just ask you to check on the cost of a movie, and you... Oh, well, we got the dope on that. Cost about $5,000. $5,000? Is that all? Are you sure? According to the boys in advertising, that's the figure they got on the movie they're planning on. Uh, you want me to check some more? I'll let you know. Remember that movie you were asking me about a while back, George? Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you locate it? Well, no, we didn't actually get our hands on it, but the boys in advertising did get some cost figures. The price was $5,000. Really? That's pretty reasonable, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds good to me. You know, advertising's been wanting a picture, and at that price, why not? Let me check with the old man. I'll let you know. We've been searching high and low for that movie you mentioned a while back, Harvey. Uh, you know, the one about the, uh, the electric... Uh, sure, the electric pancake turner. Yeah, yeah, but uh, no luck. However, in investigating, we've come up with some pretty interesting information. It seems that uh, movies are a damn sight cheaper to make than we thought they were. Uh, a film for us, for instance, uh, advertising says they can have one made for under $5,000. Is that so? A good one? Professional? Absolutely first class. They're ready to go, and at that price, I personally think it's worth doing. But uh, that's your decision, naturally. Well, for under $5,000, let's go ahead. Right. I'll get the wheels in motion. Oh, and look, George, I'm still kind of intrigued with the idea of this electric pancake turner. I'd like to know more about what they're like. Might make a novel Christmas gift. See what they cost wholesale. You mean uh, Christmas gifts for our customers? Excuse me, George. So check it, let me know, will you? Hello? A couple of things for you to check on, Marv. Uh, first of all, I got the bosses okay on a $5,000 budget for that movie the uh, advertising people want. Uh, tell the ad boys to be sure to hire this movie company the boss's friend is with. Uh, you know, I gave you the card. And uh, be sure to emphasize they've got to stick to the budget. Right. Well, I want to sort of supervise production myself, and I don't think... Well, I want to be in on it, too. Now, the other thing. The boss is still red hot on these electric pancake turners. Uh, wants a wholesale price for Christmas gifts. I thought somebody said we weren't going to send presents to customers this year. If the boss says we are, we are. Doesn't make much sense to me either, but what the hell, if he says it. So, we don't have much time. Uh, get a price on 500 of them, have an order drawn up, and have somebody check it out with Harvey right away. Right, and I'll let you know about the movie. <laughs> $5,000 for a 30-minute picture? In color with Hollywood talent? What are you trying to do, Jones? Wrinkle out of your bed? You want to make this picture for us or not? Yeah, sure, but $5,000. Look, that's your price. We didn't make it up, you know. 
That's the price you gave the big boss himself when you went over my head instead of... I didn't go over your... Not that I care about that, but there's nothing I can do now to get any more money for this movie thing. Five grand's your bid, and you're stuck with it. You make Harvey Snodgrass a promise, and he expects you to keep it. And he'll see that you do, too. Because in this company, brother, he's on top of everything.